This time we do have the National Poetry Tra uh, Slam champion for 2019-2020 in studio with us, who is Alexis Stewart, who is going to be doing a piece for us now. Good morning to you, Alex. Good morning, everyone. I hope wherever you are listening to this, that this poem resonates. It's dedicated to every woman, every daughter, every mother, every sister, every cousin listening in this morning. You were born in the center of a sunrise. 6 a.m. on a Saturday, your body was built with the brightest bits of the dawn when God told the universe, let there be light. Their daughter, there are seven things you must always remember. One, if you find yourself looking for a home away from home because your body feels too big or too small or too black, or simply too wrong to be right. Believe me when I say that it's your mind that needs reshaping. Instead of skin, I want you to cut out those negative thoughts, cut off those fake friends, and cut apart those lying magazines. You are beautiful for more than a mirror will ever show you. Two, if someone looks down on you, stand taller. Show them that you are made of more than just numbers, your age, your height, your GPA. Teach them to think outside of a box made with only number lines because you are a book filled with more than the amount of likes you get on social media pages. Three, they will call it ugly, unkempt, untidy. And though these words may start with you, do not let them end there. Your hair is your history. So when they call it unmanageable, know that this too is a compliment. Remember every slave revolt and rebellion, fight back the urge to believe them and say this? This is what freedom looks like. When they bow their heads in shame, know that it's because your Afro crown reminds them that you are queen for. And he breaks his promises, he breaks your heart. You will bleed, but I want you to keep these scars a reminder not of your hurt, but of your healing. In this Titanic love story, he may be the iceberg, but you are the whole ocean. You carry the seven seas under your skin, so your heart may be home to many shipwrecks. I want you to wear it on your sleeve anyway. Five. And he tells you that you are everything he has ever dreamed of. Girl, please. I want you to remember that you are bigger than some boy's imagination. Six, if a man dares to raise his hand for anything other than to ask you to marry him. You will learn that there are colors much worse than black and blue. That hands were made for making, not breaking, because men whose fingers only know how to form fists have a way of teaching women to keep their palms open. So open your palms and wave goodbye with both hands. Seven. It is okay to be alone. Even your own shadow will leave you sometimes. So if the sun decides not to shine, remember that you are bioluminescent, born with a firefly heart. When things get dark, find light on the inside. Show the world how your fireworks, when your words become fireworks and your passion sets everything ablaze. Wow, Alex. Alex, that was absolutely mind-blowing. And I know we all can identify with that. I, I felt that in my soul, down to my knees, every part of my body. But it sounds like it came from possibly a place of experience as well as, you know, just life. Where did you get the inspiration from to do such a inspiring piece? Well, I actually wrote this poem when I was about 15. Wow. And wow. 
the truth is it was what I needed to hear at the time. Mm-hmm. So I sort of internalized the things the, the role models in my life had been telling me and repeating to me. And as the guest would have said before, journal writing, poetry writing, it helps when we internalize these expressions. When we say them out loud, it's an affirmation of sorts. Yes. Um, and I wanted to write something that the girls around me could hear and be motivated by and be encouraged by and be supported by because this world is not an easy one for women at all. Mm-hmm. And if we could get support from our fellow sisters, we should give it and we should receive it. Agreed, definitely. And as you say that, and we talk about women, and of course, today is International Women's Day, and that's the perfect poem because we're talking about, you know, you choose to challenge. What does International Women's Day mean to you? Well, I definitely see where it's an opportunity for us to encourage the women around us, Mm -hmm. to value them, to see the value that they bring to our lives. And and the world wouldn't run without women in it. They are an essential, essential part of the process. So I think it's something that we need to remember 365 days a year. But it's good that there's a day where we pay particular attention to it. Yeah, definitely. And all year round as well, right? Yes, absolutely. So I noticed that you have a book and well, I know on Instagram you are talk to the fro. Yes. (laughs) So this book off stage. This book off stage is my first official chapbook collection. Um, So all the poems that I've been performing on stages since I entered SLAM at Mm -hmm. 16 uh, are in this book. And so many of them touch on the issues that women face because they are issues that I face, Mm -hmm. the issues that are personal to me. So I, it's a great gift to any um, of the women in your lives. Um, I yeah. wanted poems that they could hold with them, mm-hmm. resonate with, and on the times when they're alone to feel less lonely. Yeah, well, I think you've definitely done the job with that book because, again, you spoke to all of us today. I saw yeah. Whitney definitely nodding. I saw Natalie as well. Like, yes. yes uh, bringing out that independent woman power and not needing anybody else to justify our presence and what we do but to have written that at such a young age is so powerful i i mean i'm grateful to have women in my life that really inspire me my mom and her resilience my my aunt and her patience and her listening air there's so many good motivators around me to really be my best self Mm -hmm. and i want to be that for other girls and women that i come into contact with well you're definitely doing that that is for sure and if we want to order this book Oh, if you'd like to order this book, definitely you can find me on Instagram at Talk to the Fro. My Facebook is Alexandra C. Stewart. Or you could definitely send me an email at talktothefro at gmail.com. Talk to the fro at gmail.com. I love the fact that you came. What inspired you to talk to the fro? Uh, believe it or not, when I began my spoken word career was probably the first time I ever wore a twist out or afro in public. Yeah. Um, my relationship with my hair has been quite an up and down journey and it was a real defining moment for me in, in just accepting myself for who I am and being comfortable to share that person on stage and in public and in any room that I enter. Most definitely. And as you talk about your relationship with your hair, have you found that you received discrimination as you started it or have you been... I think um, it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. And that's because when you start being your best self, being your true self, you realize how little the words of people who don't understand or know you matter. And so while there have been comments and there have been um, things that people have said that I'd rather forget, um, the weight that we give those words is largely up to us. So I choose not to give it any weight. Very true. Words have power. Alex, thank you so much for being with us today on the Now Morning Show. And now thank you for having me. Of course, a blessing. And-